Hi, welcome to our map. Today I'm doing a series of videos on equations of lines and this is specifically on slope. First of all, what is the formula of the slope? Well, we have two ordered pairs, x sub 1 comma y sub 1, x sub 2 comma y sub 2. The sub 1s just means there are two x's and we need to tell them apart. It's like having a blue folder for English and a green folder for math. It's just a visual differentiation between the two x's and the two y's. Slope is change in y over change in x. And change means difference, so slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now, if you don't have that memorized, you can sing it to row, 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 row your boat. Slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Hey! All right, so let's practice this. I usually start off by saying this is x1 and x, uh, y1, and this is x2 and y2, and then I get my division and subtraction because sometimes minus and negative gets confusing. So y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 1 minus a negative is plus a positive, and we have negative 4 ninths. All right, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, m equals division, subtraction. Okay, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 minus a negative 8. 0 over 10. This is m equals 0. Be wary of the zeros. 0 in the numerator is fine. That's just your horizontal line with a slope of 0. All right x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is negative 16 over negative 6. I have to reduce out the negatives and reduce the fraction in general. So negative, negative, positive, positive. I'm going to factor out a 2 or reduce it by dividing out a 2 and get 8 thirds. Let's see, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 minus a negative 3, x sub 2, x sub 1, that's 5 over 0. Again, be wary of zeros. This is a vertical line. And so, oops, I don't have my 8 thirds there. Positive, positive, reduced. This one we say m is undefined. And that's going to be our slope, the word undefined. I still like the m equals in there because friends don't let friends divide by zero. You cannot divide by zero. It's not zero. It's actually infinity. It's a concept. So we just write undefined and don't worry about it. It's kind of like hiding broccoli in, in your napkin when you were a kid and didn't want to eat it. We hide the complication of dividing by zero under the word undefined. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.